Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Um, it's a love reading, so uh, if it resonates, let me know down in the comments. You can always like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how you're coming to the reading Virgo. The Ace of Wands, very nice. So you're fired up. Um, you may be getting ready to travel or do something or go somewhere. Um, you're going to do something, throw your hat in the ring, uh, move forward on something. Um, you have a lot of, uh, you're, you're up for the challenge in terms of something. You also could be trying to get a makeover or do something um, that, that, yeah, do something that uh, brings a lot of spark to you, okay? Uh, conception could be happening too some, for some of you. So, be, can be weary of that. Also, some of you could be entrepreneurs. If you are, um, it says that you're going to do something. You're going to incorporate something in your business here. You're overcoming challenges and you're up for the challenge too. Um, let's see. I know it's love. In love, it looks like you're just trying to redefine or, or bring the spark back into your life or back into the relationship, back into the marriage. Let's see how your person is coming. They're coming as a seven of cups. Okay, so they, they could be fantasizing about you, um, wishing about you, wishful thinking, thinking about the relationship, wanting to come back together, not knowing how to do this, um, maybe kind of over overdosing on your the thoughts of you, the dreams, the daydreaming. Um, your person also could be a cheating spouse too. You know, I don't know. They could be a liar. They could just be saying things and not meaning any of them. What is the advice for Virgo? The tower. Yes, yeah, something is going to happen here to where you have to. Um, a, a secret gets out, or something is out, or there's a blow up, or you're seeing something clearly. Something that has already that something that has historical value you've already been here with this person and now you're here again with this person uh, with, with this issue in the relationship uh it's coming up again or it's resurfacing because the universe wants you to deal with it what's the outcome here the six of wands it looks like you get out of something and you kind of move away from this whole scandalous situation this thing um you choose not to engage okay and you strut off you know, you you walk off strutting your stuff. You win the battle. Not the war, but definitely the battle. You're going to rest on your principles, your morals, and what you believe. And you're just going to move on here. It looks like you'll be getting a lot of attention or people will see you or there'll be a promotion or there's some... Yeah, that you're going to promote yourself. You're going to put yourself up on that pedestal here. You're going to choose yourself and bet on you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance card. I saw the temperance card when I was shuffling off camera for you. So it's just like maybe um, you're just going to take the middle ground here. You're not going to go to the extreme here. You've already been in this situation with this type, with this person before. So it's just like, why, why fly off the handle when I've been here, when they've cheated before, when they've lied before, when they've done this before. So it's more so of like, um, I'm just going to take the middle ground here. Um, I'm just going to stay level. I want to temper my emotions and what happens happens. Okay. Because you could be already married or engaged in something, you know, that has the potential to be very wealthy in the near future. Um, with the tower card here, uh, as your advice, there's, um, you kind of need to let this, this old sh paradigm shift and fall. It doesn't work for you guys. And it's almost as if you're trying to build on faulty ground anyway. Um, just put all energy effort time into yourself it could be dealing with a Leo yeah, it looks like you're just going to remain balanced and in, in a harmonious state even though you found out something again or you've been hit with another bomb here you know just something is breaking down or is shifting for you you're just going to try to maintain here in terms of the temperance card the bottom of the deck you're going to try to stay emotionally centered and, and not kind of fly off the handle or go off the rocker or off your rocker here.
the seven of cups is as your as how your person is coming to the reading it's more so like they aren't serious about the connection or they aren't serious about the union they could fantasize about you uh, is, is wishful thinking procrastination they won't make a choice They're, they have a lot of choices they keep everything up in the air um, they both smoke up your ass they tell you things just to keep you you know stuck or stuck on them or keep you in the energy of not making a decision yourself but it looks like you're going to choose you you know the opportunity to go back to this is there but right now you're going to put all this energy time effort into you okay and not allow this to kind of break you down um that's what i have for you virgo if it resonates go over to the website book your own reading there take it this is like somebody saying look no i don't know if i want to be in a relationship right now um you may be giving them ultimatum about something and they just keep stringing you along keep stringing the relationship along here and then the universe just brings the tower in to where you you find out something or there's an event or there's a disruption or there's some upheaval of emotions and it just causes you to say you know what i'll just choose me right now because you're confusing and i have to take that as a no you know uh, all mixed messages should be taken as a no the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. You're going to say, look, I've already been here with this person. So there's a need for me to fly off the handle here. I'm going to remain leveled. So uh, therefore, I'm just going to move forward. Um, I'm going to be the one that brings um, temperance, uh, middle ground, level headedness to chaos, uh, instability. OK, so that's what you, what you may be saying. That's what you may be doing here, because somebody else is um keeping the energy at a place of chaos and and drama and um and in stagnation and procrastination here so that's what i have for you virgo go over to the website book there get your own personal reading or you can ask a question or two by texting your question to the number the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.